disgruntledduck.com. Right, welcome again, another review for you. This time I've got the Trumpeter Russian T55, the 1958 version. Um, it's quite an iconic tank, you know, it's been used all across the world. A lot of countries have had this tank. And uh, Trumpeter usually do quite nice kits, so I'm quite excited about what we've got in here. Right, let's empty the box out, see where to begin. Okay, so we've got in here, we've got some mesh, we've got some string, we've got some little clear parts, they're gonna be, I believe, the lenses. Uh, instruction manual. Looks pretty simple, but there looks to be a hell of a lot of parts in there. So that looks like it's gonna be quite a fun build. I actually built one of these recently. I bought a second hand one uh, off eBay. It was, wasn't this brand, but it was part of a uh, part of a set of kits that were already pre-started. So I thought, you know, what the hell? It was 20 quid for free kits. And I made it up. I was actually quite happy with it. The only problem were the tracks. The tracks that came with it were absolutely awful. And uh, I wanted to get a new set of tracks. So I got in contact with a couple of manufacturers. I didn't want to spend a lot of money on them. And I thought I might be able to get a replacement pair for the Tamiya, uh, Tamiya kit that should be about the same size. I could get them, but I think they wanted about 8 99 for the tracks and then about £6 for postage. So that would have bought it uh, to a higher price than this kit cost altogether. I think this kit cost me just around 15 16 quid. So the tracks they don't look that great to be honest. There's quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of flex in there, so they're going to need to be straightened out a little bit. But you know, for the price of the kit, I'm not going to complain about something like that. All right, on to the first little packet. Uh, let's get a knife and open this one up. I do like this little scalpel I got recently. I'm really quite happy with that. Um, yeah, that's been really, really useful, especially for cutting decals and um, masking tape. It's been really awesome. So let's run through the first few bits we've got. So start, we've got the base, bottom of the hole there. One piece. Fair, fair amount of detail. Better than some things, there's a couple of casting marks on the bottom we're gonna to need to sand out, but yeah, that's a good little start. So, top of the hole, not much detail on it, um, but from what the instructions show, you're gonna be sticking a hell of a lot of bits on top of this. So you've got the fenders, the mud guards, uh, part of the rear, part of where the rear axle is gonna go. So that's a nice start to the kit. There's quite a few bits on that sprue. So yeah, there's gonna be quite a little bit of work to go on that one. Um, so right, there's the first part. Here's the, it's gonna be part of the turret, the entrance to it. Again, fairly detailed, there's quite a few parts there, so it looks quite a nice little, uh, quite a little, nice little set of parts. Next on, these are gonna be the side of some of the boxes that go along the sides along here and along here nothing really to write home with um, some small little parts there so there is going to be some fine detail hidden away there somewhere give you a little close-up of that one the barrel um, as you'd expect it's not a single piece barrel it's two parts what can you say it looks fairly all right Gonna need some sand on the sides, no doubt, and a little bit of filling, but you know, that's what we're used to working with on these sort of kits. And we've got some wheels. Again, pretty standard, standard wheels for a Russian tank. They look pretty clean. You can see a tiny little bit, a few little casting marks on these. Not really much flash at all. They look to be in quite good condition. So, so far with this kit, we seem to be winning. Uh, next, what have we got? We've got the uh, decals. Let's flash through them quickly. So, so it looks like Russian, Czech. That's about it, really. 
so it's going to be there's going to be probably a couple of variants we can do with that nothing special we can't really do really think really middle east unless we're going to buy a separate set of decals but for a basic version of this model that's going to it's going to do us quite well i reckon so final little bag of sprues so what do we have in here so like a lot of the russian tanks we've got the exter external fuel barrels we've got i think it's called the manulet manulet is that right i'm thinking right the bit that goes over the uh the top of the uh, gun barrel again quite a few little parts for detail um there's the wooden log at the back i've never never really known what that's for i should probably look into that but again um quite a few tanks have that quite a few russian tanks have that that log situated at the rear of the tank um, there's a couple of vast parts of the sprue here with nothing in them which i have no idea why it seems a bit of a waste to me but uh you know who am i to argue so there's a little close-up on these guys um yeah that's that's pretty nice we've got these now if i can feel these they feel they don't feel plasticky again they're like poly which i don't know they seem to feel somewhere between poly and uh plastic but uh do you know the thing that's frustrating about these is i've been building a couple of tamiya kits that have these poly caps for the uh for the wheels for the hub caps or for the nuts in the middle and they just don't hold paint no matter what you do i mean you can you can get paint on there in the end but it's very easy to flake off. I mean, I've, I've scrubbed them. These are definitely going to go through some soap and water. And then we'll prime them up. Um, but I just find sometimes during a chipping phase, especially if you're using, especially if you're using hairspray or something like that, the paint can easily strip off of these. Um, I'm going to see how these go on this particular kit. But that's the only thing so far that I'm not over the moon about. So, final part of the kit is the turret now that looks beautiful if you, i don't know if you can see if i can go quite close up if you can see some of the detail the casting detail on that it's one of those things with a lot of these russian tanks they were so fast to put out the casting's pretty rough um but you know that's recreated really nicely so yeah all in all for this kit it's definitely you're going to pick this up this kit definitely for under 20 pound I can't see anything wrong with it at all. So uh, hopefully you'll join me soon as I build this guy up. And until the next review, happy modeling. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment.